if you want to be a true contender in the NFC North, you need to name Justin Fields your starting quarterback. Justin Fields gives the Chicago Bears a better chance to win than Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton had a time in his career where he was a good quarterback. He was never great, but he was good with the Cincinnati Bengals. I know a lot of Bengal fans, you know, here in the city of Cincinnati, they have been down on Andy Dalton, but I believe Andy Dalton was good in his prime. He is no longer in his prime. And Justin Fields brings electricity to the city of Chicago and that Bears organization that they haven't had at any point in their franchise history. At any point, they have never had a bona fide due at the quarterback position. Jay Cutler. He had a great arm, but Jay Cutler really didn't care about winning and losing. Jim McMahon, he was pretty good. That was a long time ago, way before my time. He was pretty good, but not great. They had Rex Grossman. Rex Grossman was never a good NFL quarterback. The Chicago Bears have had everything. They've had great defenses, you know, led by Lance Briggs, led by Brian Erlacher, you know, they've had greats like Walter Payton. They have a nice receiver now in Allen Robinson on that team. Shout out to my man, David Montgomery, the running back on the Chicago Bears. They've had Hall of Famers all around that team who have been on that Chicago Bears team. What they haven't had is a bona fide elite quarterback. And I believe Justin Fields is that dude. Y'all remember last year at the Ohio State University, Justin Fields had 22 touchdowns, six interceptions. He, you know, completed 70% of his passes. He was absolutely sensational. And I know Trey, Trevor Lawrence, you know, he went number one overall to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I believe last year in the playoff game when Ohio State and Clemson faced off against one another, Justin Fields outplayed Trevor Lawrence. He outplayed him. Now, I know Trevor Lawrence has a more body of work than Justin Fields, but Justin Fields outplayed Trevor Lawrence in the playoff game when the Buckeyes and the Tigers faced off against each other. He outplayed him. And then in his first year as being a starter as quarterback with the Buckeyes, he had 41 touchdowns, three interceptions, you know, completing 67% of his passes, Threw for over 3,200 passing yards. He was outstanding. And I believe out of all those quarterbacks that have came out of Ohio State, I believe Justin Fields has the best chance to succeed at the NFL level. I really do. And then you remember in the NFL draft, you know, he dropped Trey Lance, who hasn't played in over a year and a half, Zach Wilson, they were drafted ahead of Justin Fields. They were talking about Justin Fields' work ethic and whether or not Justin Fields took the game serious. And I just thought that was absolutely ridiculous. He was great at Ohio State. He played big in big-time games for the Buckeyes. I thought it was crazy how Zach Wilson and – Trey Lance got drafted ahead of Justin Fields. It made no sense to me. And also what doesn't make sense to me is Matt Nagy prolonging a decision that we know is on the horizon. And that's naming Justin Fields the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. It's the inevitable. It's going to happen. He gives you something that Andy Dalton doesn't give you. He can make something out of nothing, and he has the ability to make plays under duress.